This is the installation video for the Potter Aqua N2 wet system inerting process. For more information and detailed installation instructions, please visit pottersignal.com slash aqua n2. At the wet system riser, install the nitrogen injection manifold above the alarm check valve. At a remote point on the wet fire sprinkler system, such as a remote inspector's test port, install the quick exhaust manifold. The location should be easily accessible for operation. At a high point, most remote from the riser, install a Potter air vent. At the wet system riser, fully open the nitrogen cylinder. Once the cylinder is open, adjust the nitrogen cylinder pressure regulator to 40 psi. Using the supplied hose with quick disconnect, Connect the hose from the nitrogen cylinder to the nitrogen injection manifold. Open the ball valve on the nitrogen injection manifold. Nitrogen gas should be entering the fire sprinkler system. Walk to the quick exhaust manifold and observe the pressure rising on the pressure gauge. Once the pressure in the system has reached 40 psi, open the ball valve on the quick exhaust manifold. Note, this should only be done in a ventilated room. Once the pressure decreases to 5 psi, close the ball valve on the quick exhaust manifold and allow the pressure to return to 40 psi. Open the quick exhaust manifold for a second time and sample the exiting gas with the portable nitrogen analyzer. The nitrogen gas should read 98% concentration or greater. After the pressure reaches 5 psi on the gauge, close the ball valve. At this time, return to the wet sprinkler riser and fully close the nitrogen cylinder. Close the ball valve on the nitrogen injection manifold and disconnect the hose. The system is now full of high purity nitrogen. Return the system back to service by filling with water. Thank you for using the Potter Aqua N2 wet system inerting. For more information and detailed installation instructions, please visit pottersignal.com aqua n2.